Hey, it's Dina again from Striking Beauties. We're back with our Boxing 101 series here with Peter Manfredo Sr. and again, professional boxer Cassius Cheney. Today we're going to learn the fourth of our basic punches, and that being an uppercut. Okay, we're going to go with this. Will be the, the right hand uppercut because he's a right handed uh, orthodox boxer. So, what he needs to do is you're gonna, he's going to have to get down. The last thing I would want him to do would be to drop the hand to, show, to throw this punch. So a lot of people do that in the beginning because you leave yourself open for hooks. So, what Cassius would have to do is he'd have to drop down the middle with his weight. Now he's under me. Now what he does, he'll start turning that right foot just like he did when he would throw a right cross. And But this time as he throws the punch and he turns into it, his palm will face him. His shoulders should be completely rotated again, looking here, this way, looking right there. That's better, right there. Now he makes the contact and then he brings it back. This is an unseen punch. It can cause a lot of damage. It just has to get there. Again, you don't have to throw this like it's the last punch you're gonna throw on earth. Like the analogy that I like to use is that you have an egg in your hand or a ball in your hand, and you're just gonna get that egg, and you're gonna to toss it up. Toss it up. So basically, this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna come from underneath. He usually makes contact on the chin. Sometimes they're leaning forward. It can make contact any part of the face when you're going to the face with it. So he's going to drop, and he's going to turn. Okay, get right back and do it again. Keep your eyes on him. Drop and turn. Good. Now put a little snap into it. Turn. Boom. There you go. That was good. Do it again. Turn. Boom. Good. These punches are not meant to lead a combination because you can leave yourself vulnerable to hooks, but you can set them up with jabs, and you can see jab me. You can blind my eyes so I can't see it, or I'm going to straighten out. Then he would bring that shot underneath. Okay, or you can use it going back. If someone's coming into you and they're going to lean or they're going to reach, you take that step back to maintain that distance, and then he shoots it up. So same thing when you're going to work it. Stay in position and just work it there. Get that twist. See if that body is turning. The need to get that body. I like to keep the thumb on my chin so I, can, I know my hand is up. Now from here, once I drop down, I got my weight to my back leg, I'll use the leg. I just breathe. I'm nice and relaxed as I throw it. Snap it. And it stops at your forehead. Don't let it go any farther than that. Stay in position. You miss, you miss. I can also get back with something else. I want to be in position. Once you get it there, then you can start working on it. Backing up. Stepping over. Stepping the other way. Stepping in. Basically, that's it.